Well, it's the morning after the day before and we're here with Brett Parbury who rode a victory salute into ninth place in the Grand Prix special yesterday and is looking forward to competing in the Kerr tomorrow evening. Now, Brett, first person in the Kerr, for Australian person in the Kerr in 10 years. You were expecting this result? Uh, I was quietly confident. You know, I, th I knew I could mix it. Well, I've been competing against the, these guys all year and I, and I knew I could, if I rode well, I could get into the sort of the top 15, which is the cutoff for the Kerr. But to finish ninth was a real surprise. You know, I just um, just wanted to. I just wanted to make the cut. That was my goal. And um, but to be ninth is a real bonus. Now this is an Australian bred horse. Um, tell us a little bit, bit about the horse and its history. He's one of the only horses here at the whole of Weg which is bred and owned by the same person um, right the way through its career. So Carol and Lieutenant bred him and is and is his owner. Um, he's out of a mare by Victorio and by the stay in Salute, which is how Carolyn named him, Victory Salute. Um, and um, yeah, Australian bred warm blood, which is, in, and, and with Rachel Santa also um, making the special um, on an Australian bred warm blood, I think that's justification that the breeding program in Australia is going well. Now, you, you said you've been, you've been competing against these guys all year. Do you think there's a lot of skirt? Like obviously, I mean, it seems to me that the world of dressage is really kicking along. The scores are getting better. The horses are becoming more amazing. Um, do you think that there's a scope for improvement in, in your horse and your performances? Yeah, I do. There, it's um, there's always something. I mean, Grand Prix dressage is something that's you never perfect it. There's always one thing that's getting weak and one thing that's getting stronger, and it's trying to balance your test and, and ride smart. You know, not, not every horse is good at everything, so you try and ride in a fashion where you hide the the things you're weak at and you show off the things you're good at. So, um, but I think there's a little more scope for us to improve. I mean, I've always had confidence in the horse that we could be in that low 70s. Um, you know, as far as getting to mid 70s, who knows? You know, it's, it's, he's a good horse. He's a very good horse. And um, um, yeah, with more time, we might get there. Now, the Kerr tomorrow night, I think it's sort of got the whole a world of expectation on it to be this fantastic event, especially with Edward Gull, you know, going so well over the the past two days. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do? To, to, are you going to try to bring the house down yourself? Or? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I have a good cur. Um, it's, a, it's great music and it, the choreography is interesting. And I mean, the cur is all about really just having fun and not rushing and trying to just absorb the moment. And, and, and it's a performance, you know, it's where you go from dressage, which is a, a traditional straight you have to do the exercises on the movements well in the cur you can be a little bit more well it says it's freestyle you know you can if you're a bit behind your music you can change your line you can do something uh in a place where you don't do it normally and it's 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 more about riding to the music and putting on a performance and, and also keeping technically correct with your with your dressage but um there's only well, i've heard there's only two sessions which are sold out at this whole wag and one of them is the freestyle the grand prix freestyle and the other is the reigning final and um so yeah, with a with a packed house in that stadium, it's, it'll be exciting. And and I've drawn a, a great time. Like I'm I'm midway through the whole class. So you know I've got guys like Christoph Koschel and those guys before me who will really get the crowd pumped up. So really looking forward to it. Well, mate, we certainly are. Good luck tomorrow night. Yeah. Go and bust out something special. And um, yeah, good luck. Beauty. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Brett. Thank you. Cheers, mate. <laughs>